You've heard about the boys in the boat, the 1936 Husky crew that went to the Berlin Olympics and won a gold medal. But today we're gonna to talk about another group of local sports heroes who I call the boys on ice. Seattle has long dreamed of being a world-class city, and those dreams go back over 100 years. At the turn of the century, between 1900 and 1910, Seattle grew by 200%. In the next 10 years, it grew another 30%, so that by 1920, there were over 300,000 people in Seattle, and people yearned for big league entertainment of some kind. And what they got was a hockey team. To attract the big league team, Seattle built a state-of-the-art ice arena. The arena was built adjacent to the Olympic Hotel on the Metropolitan Tract. It cost $100,000 and had a seating capacity of 3,500. In 1915, Seattle got a professional hockey team. They were called the Seattle Metropolitans and they played for the Pacific Coast Hockey Association. They wore green, white, and red horizontal striped jerseys called barber pole jerseys. So they played other teams like Portland, Vancouver, Victoria, and later Spokane. They hired a coach who had been a, not only a hockey coach, a former boxer named Pete Muldoon. And he was a bit like another sports Pete we know in Seattle. He wanted players who were young, smart, fast, athletic, most of the hockey players of that era were Canadian. And so Muldoon went to Toronto and he picked up the core of a really excellent hockey team and brought them to Seattle to play. In those days, the champion of the Pacific Coast League would play the Eastern Canada champion for the Stanley Cup, essentially the Super Bowl of hockey. The first season there were high expectations, but it didn't go so well and they didn't win the championship. Instead, Portland Rosebuds did, and they went and played for the Stanley Cup. In their second season, the Metropolitans lived up to the hype, but it didn't start out well. They lost a number of their first games. They had injured players. They really battled against intense rivals that were also very good, such as the Vancouver Millionaires. But they prevailed. They won the championship, led by Frank Foyston, their team captain, their MVP, and a prolific scorer. They won the right to go and battle for the Stanley Cup against the Montreal Canadiens. Stanley Cup was a best of five series, and they were playing a team that was much bigger and more experienced than they were. It was a bruising battle, but they prevailed, and they won the championship, the Stanley Cup, on the Seattle home ice. America had its first Stanley Cup winner. The Metropolitans played in an era of growth, but they also played in an era that presented challenges. In 1916, there was the great Seattle blizzard, which delayed games and messed up the schedule. Um, in 1919, there was the general strike. In 1919, the Metropolitans went back again to compete for the Stanley Cup against the Montreal Canadiens, but they faced an even greater opponent this time, and that was the Spanish influenza epidemic. Millions of people were dying all over the world, and during the Stanley Cup series, five of the Canadian players had to go to the hospital and one died, and the series was canceled. In the era of the Metropolitan's rise, there were other challenges. World War I was on the brink of happening. In fact, within days of winning the Stanley Cup in 1917, the United States entered the war. Seattle had found its sports groove, but the world was a mess. Metropolitans continued to play well. In fact, they went back to compete for the Stanley Cup in 1920, though they lost to Ottawa. However, things came to an abrupt halt when they were in their prime. In 1924, the Olympic Hotel decided that they needed a parking garage, and they converted the state-of-the-art ice arena into that garage. The Metropolitans lost a place to play, and the team vanished. For fans of big league sports in Seattle, the story of the Metropolitans has been a kind of missing link in our history. 
Now with the NHL once again on the city's horizon, perhaps the fans and the players can take inspiration from the team that brought home Seattle's first world championship.